He's lying, Rachel Davies said. What? Ellie nearly spilled the cup of overly warm coffee she'd so carefully carted across the terrazzo. Her new boss, Dr. Davies, sat in the cafeteria, absently eating what looked like cold pasta primavera and watching the 20-inch monitor perched on the counter next to the coffee maker. They were two of only five people in the large room, built to hold the entire lunchtime crowd of a D.C. area boys' school, but now utilized only when sessions of forensic training were being held. The last two had ended the week before. Until more started the following month, the cafeteria provided only coffee and use of a microwave. For anything more, the Locard staff were on their own. The television monitor replayed the interview of Greg Anderson appealing for the return of his wife, Ashley. Ashley, four months pregnant, a white 25-year-old, apparently went boating one day two weeks previously and disappeared. After one week, local fishermen found the empty boat bobbing in the gulf. Though boating accidents were hardly unheard of in coastal areas, Ashley's case stayed in the news, mostly because of her father. Martin Post, the third richest man in the United States. Genius of oak tree software and hardware design. There were few computers in the world that didn't churn up cyberspace using his components. And now, a mere mile from his opulent Florida fortress, his only child had washed up on a beach among the seaweed and discarded water bottles. On the screen, Greg Anderson pleaded for any information about his wife. If anyone saw her, if anyone was on the water that day, please call the tip line and let us know. Ashley w is the joy of my life, and that we were about to have our first baby. He broke off and put a hand to his mouth, his eyes screwing up into tight knots, apparently overwhelmed. Totally lying, Rachel said again. Again, Ellie's gaze swung from her to the television and back again. How do you know that? First, he speaks of her in the past tense. She is in the past tense. Not then. That interview was shot on the day after she disappeared. Her new boss tore open a bag of chips, chewed one with a thoughtful air, then set the bag down to position her hands with all five pairs of fingers touching. Second, he held his hands like this. Like he was praying. Not exactly. The palms aren't touching, the fingers aren't interlaced. It's called steepling, and is a huge indicator of confidence, one of the biggest. 